Jayla Wickman, and I am president of Montana Sportsman for Fish and Wildlife. All right, so I need you to spell your, your first and last name for me. <clears throat> Jayla is J-A-A-L-A. And Wickman is W-I-C-K-M-A-N. All right. So now, uh, my first question is, how did a woman become the head of this uh, <laughs> sportsman's organization? I think that's probably a question a lot of people are asking. Um, let's see. I'll give a good answer here, not the silly one. <laughs> you know, I was one of the original co-founders of the organization seven years ago. And I think it really stems back to the fact that I'm a sixth-generation Montanan. Um, my ancestors were some of the first settlers in the Bitterroot Valley, and I've been hunting and fishing with my dad my entire life, so it's in my blood, and I tend to be a very highly motivated person, and I can do a lot of things at once, so I just kind of kept doing more, and now here I am president. Fantastic. All right, so tell me a little bit about the organization itself. So we are a 501c3 nonprofit. We've been around for just over seven years now. This will be our seventh annual fundraiser. And we are really just a group of Montanans and that are really passionate about our state, our outdoor activities, what we do, what we love to do. We try to represent and or work with every aspect of outdoor use, be it the landowners, trappers, fishermen, hunters, we really like to focus on getting kids, veterans, um, anyone really who's passionate about hunting and fishing and trapping and that out out there enjoying it. Um, we're also very passionate about <clears throat> effective predator control and overall management of all species so that we can continue to enjoy what we have here in the state. Okay. Now, when you, when you, when you run up against... Uh, someone in the political realm, say state officials or state organizations, you know, government organizations like Fish, Wildlife, and Parks, things like that. How, what does your organization want them to do to help you, uh, your members and the folks you work with uh, be able to get out and enjoy Montana? Well, one of our big, big issues that we're really working towards is, again, that effective management of predators so that we can have a healthy uh, pre population that allows for, you know, sufficient hunting everywhere in the state, be it on public lands, private lands. Um, it's funny because it's, there's always an us versus them kind of an attitude, it seems like, with, with Montana FWP, and we really seek to find ways that we can work with them. Most recently, we've donated $15,000 to work with the state, um, FWP, in managing the elk shoulder seasons. And again, that's to increase access statewide for hunters so they can uh, access private land and, and hunt and hopefully bag some meat for the freezer. So where it could be an antagonistic relationship, we really try to look for more ways to work with and for so that we can promote um, everything benefiting all people. All right. Now tell me about your event. When, where, and, and, and what is the purpose? So the event will be next Saturday, May 14th at 2 p.m. at the fairgrounds. It's going to be in the main building there. And, you know, we really have tried over the years to be that, um, that fundraiser that's not the sit-down um, fancy one. We are really, really family-friendly. We love seeing kids, and it's been pretty cool. Every year there's more kids. Um, we have a fishing pond for the kids. We have some games that they can play. And um, it's just kind of about getting together, talking, having a good time, and, and raising funds for the next year of our advocating for our membership and really for the whole state for their hunting and fishing and trapping rights and access. What's the price? How much does it cost to get in? It is $25 to get in. If you're 12 and under, it's free. 